So in today's session, we are going to talk about the transportation expense. And as we're talking about the transportation expense, this is how we're going to wind up talking about carriage inwards and carriage outwards. My name is Arnold, and thanks for tuning in. The transportation expense is actually a necessary cost or a necessary expense that is incurred to help any entity or any company to generate revenue. And so because this is a cost that has been used up in the process of doing business, or it is a cost that has been incurred to help generate the revenue that is declared in the, state, in the income statement, then it becomes an expense that needs to be booked in uh, the income statement. Now, uh, transport can come in various forms. It could be transport of workers to come to the job site, that is a transportation expense. It could be transportation of supplies, maybe um, the, the, we need stationery to use in the office or we need office supplies. And as these supplies are coming in, transport is incurred in bringing them to the office. That is also a form of transportation expense. It could also be transport incurred in buying goods you know, as goods that you intend to resell. Goods coming into the business, you incur transport costs in bringing those goods into the business. Well, that is also a transportation, a form of transportation cost. It could also come in this form that you have sold goods to a client and you are supposed to transport these costs, these goods to the, the client's premises. That's also another form of, you know, transportation expense. So those various forms of transport expenses can mean to be clamped up into um, one figure in your income statement. However, I am here to tell you that there are two forms of transport expenses that need to be put aside. And uh, these forms of transport expenses need to be recognized or we need to, to open up accounts for them so that we are able to identify them separately. The reason as to why we identify them separately is because, as you will be able to see, they are treated differently in the income statement, like we are going to see. So what are these categories of transport expense that I'm talking about? I'm talking about carriage inwards and carriage outwards. For starters, carriage simply means the cost incurred in transportation of goods. So what do we mean when we are saying we are transporting goods? The technical term for good is something that you are actually bought with the intention of selling it. If you are a supermarket, the general merchandise in the supermarket, that's what we call goods. If you are a laptop shop, the laptops in your business are what we call goods. However, the furniture that you're seated on in your laptop shop, those are not goods because you do not intend to resell them. It is not your main business activity. In other words, the product that the business deals in, in as far as buying and selling is concerned, those are what we call goods. So any transport that is associated with bringing goods into the business or out of the business is what we are calling carriage. And so that means that carriage inwards is the transport cost that is associated with transporting goods into the business that means it is the cost associated with transporting purchases. You know, remember the, the, the technical term in accounting here is that purchases refers to goods that you buy with the intention of selling them. So purchase of goods, the, co the transport cost associated with purchase of goods, that is called carriage inwards. The transport cost associated with sale of goods that is what we call carriage outwards. So whenever we incur carriage inwards and carriage outwards, when that happens, we are supposed to open separate ledger accounts for those two items. So moving forward, we shall always open a separate ledger account for carriage inwards and open a separate ledger account for carriage outwards. Those two accounts will be opened and they will be treated 
in like that. Of course, the double entry will still be the same double entry for all expenses because these ones are also expenses. You know, they are just subdivisions of the transportation expense. And we know that expenses, when they increase, they are debited. So, um, carriage inwards, when these transportation costs have been incurred in bringing goods into the business, that's going to be carriage inwards and we shall debit the carriage inwards account. It will be created and debited. The same um, is true in case we have transport costs for you know, taking for sales, for sales, taking goods out of the business, that is going to be called carriage outwards. We shall open up a separate ledger account called carriage outwards and we shall be able to debit it, just like they would do the transport expense. So it's important that the carriage inwards and the carriage outwards items are treated like that. Why? The reason will come out clear as we do some worked examples in later sessions. Take note that carriage inwards is used, it is considered to be part of the cost of goods. In other words, uh, as you're bringing in the goods that you intend to resell, the transport that brought those goods is also part of the cost of those goods. And that, that transportation cost is what we're going to be calling carriage inwards and we shall treat it as so as we shall be able to see when we are talking about the statement of comprehensive income, or we'll call it the income statement late in our later on videos. That being said, I'll catch you in the next session. Arnold Rangakurame here, and this is Kisembo Academy. Take care.